Good afternoon everyone, my name is David Gessner and I'm going to present the paper titled Towards a Reliability Analysis of the Design Space for the Communication Subsystem of FT for FTT. So what is a design space? When we face a new problem that should be solved by a system, that system first needs to be designed. For such a design there are usually many possible solutions. As a simple example, consider the problem of storing some physical items. We might solve such a problem by designing a simple box to serve as a container. In that case, one solution might be a shallow box, another one might be a tall box, and yet another solution might be a square box. Each such potential solution is specified by the values assigned to so-called design variables. In this simple example, the design variables might be the height of the box, its width, or its thickness. Using the concept of design variables, we can represent each solution as a tuple whose elements are the values assigned to these variables. So the first element could be the height of the box, the second element could be the width, and the last element could be the thickness. If we have a total of n design vari variables, then each tuple will have n elements. In such a case, we can define an n-dimensional space where each dimension corresponds to one of the design variables. Such a space is called a design space and each potential solution for the given problem can be thought of as a point in this space. The specific design we are tackling in the paper is the one for the communication subsystem for FT for FTT. FT for FTT is a project we are currently working on. Its goal is to provide high reliability and flexibility to distributed embedded systems. The two important things to note for this presentation is that FT for FTT, due to the underlying technology used, requires the communication subsystem to be master-slave and to be based on switched Ethernet. This means that the points of the corresponding design space must be master-slave network architectures that use switches. A few example designs are a single switch with a single master node and two slave nodes, a single switch with an embedded master to which two slaves are connected, two interconnected switches with an external master and two slaves, and two slaves attached to two interconnected switches with embedded masters. Given a design space, we are often interested in which point is optimal, that is, which design is best according to some criteria. In the context of the FT for FTT project, our criteria is reliability. So what we are asking ourselves is, which design is most reliable? To answer this question, we introduce a way of evaluating the reliability of all the points in an automated way. We do this by creating a single model for the whole design space. The idea basically works as follows. Each point of the FT for FTT design space can be modeled as a graph. So this design can be modeled by one graph, this one by another, this one by yet another, and so forth. Since each point can be modeled by a graph, the set of all points can also be modeled by a graph. This graph captures the whole design space and is obtained as the graph union of all the graphs corresponding to design points. Given this design space union graph, we generate a single continuous time Markov chain from it. This single continuous time Markov chain is then used to obtain the reliability of each point of the design space. In this way, with our approach, given the design space, we can say for each individual point what its reliability is. And if we know the reliability of each point, we can then clearly identify the most reliable design. If you are interested in further details, such as how exactly we generate the Markov chain, please see me at the poster. Thank you very much for your attention.